Welcome back my friends to another episode of Dominions 5. In this Let's Play series we are playing Middle Age Plague. Let's continue from where we left off. So guys, if you have watching the series or if you have not, let me just make a quick roundup of what is happening. We were attacked last turn by men, so we are now at war with them. So I've, I've checked a little bit and even in my previous let's plays, even a small attack like that means that I don't know if they are going to attack us or not, but it means that uh, probably we will get attacked. Man is also at, at war with Pidgin, so it's always a, a situation where uh, perhaps they are dividing att attentions, but we should be prepared. So what have I decided for this turn? I will round up, round up an army over here and uh, to try to strike next turn prob probably over here. Let's see if this army moves against us or not. Where does it move? I'm also getting an army over here so that we can start and get this castle over, over here. That would be really nice if we could do that. Um, and I'm also moving out and uh, trying to center all my units over here in this throne province. Uh, I think that's that's probably the, the best moves. The rest of the, the the moves for this turn is side searching that we have been a little bit unluck with uh, with uh, we have uh, we, we had uh, very few luck in finding magical sites. Let's hope that uh, gets better in the next turns. Let me just show you uh, research wise what we are what we are doing while we are trying to reach an enchantment level four. We will get it next turn and that will allow us to cast flaming arrows we can mass uh, very quickly um, uh, units that have uh, ranged attacks so that can be useful even in, in this war against um, against men afterwards we'll, we'll try to get, reach conjuration level three it, we have here uh, many uh, useful spells one of the one of the ones that i want it's this phoenix power and even the summon earth power that allow us to our earth and fire uh, uh, mages to be more efficient in, in battle. So uh, with this phoenix power it makes all of my tyrants uh, uh, um, uh, able to cast flaming arrows. Or at least they, it will be easier for them to cast flaming arrows. So that's our target. Um, enchantment level 4 for the flaming arrows itself and then afterwards conjuration level 3 to get that buff um, to our tyrants so that we need to spend less fire gems to cast flaming arrows. I have even a tyrant that, that it's a, a, he's a, a base level 4 fire mage so this guy just needs a fire gem or an item that provides a temporary fire gem that we are forging and what he needs also it's the, it's the spell itself that I will only get it available next time. So that's it. Let me show you nation overview and see what we get for this uh, what am i doing for this turn lots of the movements i already explained so it's, we are trying to uh, round up the armies and try to first defend and then counter attack against men let's see if we can or or, or if this is going, going to be a short-lived series it's i hope for the best i'm with my two cyclops i'm forging fire in the jar that item that um, that uh, you can equip in the Michelinium slot and we, it will give one temporary fire gem to use in combat. So I'm going to give this fire in the jar to all my tyrants so that they can cast in each combat if they want flaming arrows. And again forge element of heroes to my... Uh, I always forget their name. Where the hell I have one here? To, to my Trophimus commander so that they can have more bonus leading the slaves. So let's see if the slaves um, uh, wait a little longer in battle before fleeing. That's what I'm. That's also the other item that I'm forging. I'm forging two items per turn to get the most discount that I can with the dwarven hammers. The rest is it's pretty straightforward. Research and site searching. We are uh, building a palisades uh, and nothing more. To show you just uh, um, have a scout over here and my bulk of the scouts are over here in in Van Eim lands 
so I'll try to move them a little bit up to, to get them, them over here. So that's it. Let me just show you also recruitment wise. I've spent in my capital. I'm trying to get a tyrant, more three giants, uh, probably reinforcements for the incoming war. And I hadn't that much money, so let me see what did I got over here. Nothing. I spent all, all, all of my money. And an archer here. It was just right over there. I didn't have that much money, so that that is it. And that's all the money that I had. So it's going to be like this for this turn, and we'll try to improve a little bit next turn and uh, do a, a more um, um, distributed uh, recruitment for the next turn. Let's finish up the turn, see how it goes, if men attacks or not. I think they will. I think they will. So let's see how can do we handle. Well, well, they attacked a lot in a lot of places. When I'm okay, just seeing if they did not decide not to attack us. Men attacked over here. We have just province defense. I really don't see that's enough to handle this army. We have here the knights. Even these guys are strong by them by themselves, so I really don't see. Let me just fast forward it. Well, I think we were the first ones, yeah. A little bit lucky because it was almost uh, it was the same units from one side and the other attacking rear, but my 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 uh, uh, province defense were just a little bit better than the attacking army, so we got a little bit lucky and won that battle. Second battle, Silverwoods. Let's see if we keep up. The, I don't know, no, against these guys, I don't really think that it's in a, it's a, a big army from them, so and we are done. We are done. But we managed to kill three units from them. We didn't have any kind of defenses there, so that was to be expected. A battle in the in downland. Downland, let's see. Again, a bigger army, but right here it won't be that easy. That's too fast. That's too fast for. But I really think that this time we have a nice defense. We even have. Let me see where the hell are my legionnaire. No, it's not the Lot Warrior. It's this guy. Yeah. Helmet of Euros, and the other guy does not have the Helmet of Euros, but that should be, that will prevent all my units. The man is already routed, and my army stood, stood firmly and one routed, so that helmet is really, really nice. And the battle at Eryx, let's see. The battle Eryx, well, and again. Well, this is going to be a tough one, but they have big, big units. Let's see. Let's see how we handle this, this enemy uh, cavalry. It's going to be tough. Perhaps with my giants. Army of men also routed, so not bad, not bad. And. Well, a couple of my guys are retreating, but we are doing better than I thought. Better than I thought because they they were routing too quickly for my taste, and that helmet is really um, uh, useful to prevent the routing of the slaves. Um, this is a battle between men and pins. I mean, men what? Well, men is going forward. Like no, like a uh, big, big guy. Let's see if they can keep up that pressure against two nations. And the battle between independent and Pentium, probably a, a random event. Pentium lost the the province. Uh, and I think that's all the information for this turn. Again, no magical sites. Really, really unlucky. Uh, but that's well, that's life. That's life. So, 
let's a quick look in in five battles we, we just lost one which is not bad to the north it's good and bad because now Pentium has this the province over here so we cannot attack men but but at least we can they, they cannot attack us also so that's good and that's bad we can focus down here we can focus down here we have here a lonely province which I, we cannot get the money because um, it does not connect to our uh, capital but we will try to solve that and i think that's it my friends i'm just seeing if i see any differences over here van Eim and ashdod stabilized a little bit van Eim head was being um, siege over here but they, they, they managed to uh, to remove the siege so that's nice and i think uh, that's it painting over here nothing special no one in this province over here yet and okay nothing special so let's let's decide the moves for this turn and uh, i'll be i'll be right back so let me show you what i have in this turn we will move out our armies we will attack after defending last turn so the army of Kiparises, the tyrant and actor is going to move out to this province over here let's try to get that fortress um, it would be a nice addition to our uh, to our uh, nation let's hope that it's enough let me just show you Kiparise, Kiparises, i hope i'm pronouncing it correctly or at least if i'm not pronounce, pronouncing it too wrongly but um, he can by himself cast flaming arrows so we help we will have flaming arrows at the beginning of the combat uh, uh, right at the, at the start so and he will be also with actor which has the uh, the helmet of heroes and gives plus three morale to all of his slaves which make them much more reliable in in battle let's hope that uh, this is enough to get this province over here and to try to siege the castle we will also move uh, this army over here down here so let's see how that goes i don't know where this army is going to go if it's going to this province if it's going uh, to attack us over here uh, i really don't know so let's move out over here and again same stuff uh, same stuff uh, not the same stuff hippolytus hippolytus is going to capture slaves i i'm trying to um to keep the armies with just one tyrant at least until we have enough tyrants to all the armies and then afterwards we can increase the number of tyrants in each army but for now uh, Gortis it's more than enough let me just show you this is the army that's going to try to, to get that province lots of giants by itself and um, he can he can cast flaming arrows with the help of the fire of the fire in the jar and a couple of more um, a couple of more uh, gems like maybe I could slightly magic use but so that he does not spend more the fire gems after the the, the, the scripted spells so so i think this is, this is um, a good army and i'm going going to keep hippolytus the other the other tyrant uh, right here to receive the reinforcements and lead and uh, so that he can lead by himself another army um, until that until then i will uh, it's going is how i'm going to do um, uh, the armies and if i can if i have enough tyrants then afterwards i will get um, more than one in each army but for now i will leave one behind he, he will get all these reinforcements that that are coming from, from the capital so uh, i will leave him in my in my castle even because i don't know how we are i don't know where these armies are going to go so uh, let's keep one one behind i'm also getting another one in the capital oops not here here and this next turn i will get another one and this is the rec recruitment in the capital and this is the recruitment in this castle that's where i spent all the money and we are spending all the money this turn so over here i didn't i think i didn't recruit anything no i did not i spent all the pennies that i had recruiting that both that in, in that castles here we are keeping we are building the giant palisade let's hope we can get it done and in the north i don't know how long 
Pentium is going to, to uh, hold these provinces, but for now they, they, they serve as a buffer against uh, attacks from men in the north. We have a lot to do in, uh, in our south, so uh, I really don't mind. It's, it's a way that I, that I have without that I don't need to split my armies. I can uh, place them, almost all of them, over here and push down uh, uh, through uh, men's lands. Uh, I really don't mind. So that's it. Uh, let me show you national overview. Nothing special, too far in the jars. Let's make sure that our tyrants, each one, has a fire in the jar. Uh, this guy is doing nothing, so he's summoning more ship. Uh, and capture slaves for Hippolytus. And two more turns to get their giant palisades done. And another to Mimas, another to summon allies. We are going, we are going to make a, an invincible army of ship. That would be really, really nice if we could uh, get to that stage. I really don't know if it's possible to mess up a lot of ship, but, but I don't think that they are such a good unit that it can make that difference but we can try at least to to, to get some to our ar armies uh, i think that's it for this turn magic wire is nothing special we reached the uh, enchantment level for that last turn and we will try to reach conversion level three uh, which shouldn't take long and then we should think a little bit more ahead perhaps evocation to, to have more options regarding uh, combat spells uh, probably not a bad idea to spend a couple of levels of, of evocation. I will place it over here. I don't know if I'm going to change it, but at least they are here. And we can start thinking in getting the our our uh, uh, mages that have inbuilt the communion master and the communion slave by default and see how they handle in battle. But getting them without any kind of evocation spells, it's clearly well. Uh, evocations they are mostly offensive spells we have we are starting to have some defensive ones from the enchantment tree and and so our uh, mages would not be uh, uh, useless in combat but we can make them even better with more options if we research a little bit of evocation so let's finish up the turn see how our battles go this turn And we were attacked by men in Olifia against just province defense. So I think this is a near the province near my uh, my castle, my south southern castle. So it's normal to lose this one because we don't we didn't have there anyone, and we even managed to not kill a single men men are uh, units let's see here here it, it is us that are going to attack and it's a little bit more than probably defense and we, i don't think that we are going to have any kind of trouble why do we not cast flaming arrows we did not cast flaming arrows right Can we not cast flaming arrows? I can use one gem to make him level four, and then afterwards, can we use the gem? I'm pretty sure that this guy could cast flaming arrows. Well, it was not a big deal, but it could it could have been. I need to check that out in more detail. But I think that we can we can use one gem to power up and to get a higher level spell than then we usually can cast it so he's level three with one gem he can be level four and then he can use a gem to pay for the, the spell itself i think that's it we were attacked by a um, man in downland it's our um, it's our castle yes probably they are going to siege it i really don't care i really don't care that we siege it we will be, be able to break that siege easily, I think. I hope. We just killed four units and we attacked uh, men in, in their castle also. Can you cast flaming arrows? You should, right? Personal magic items. Level 4, 
Fighting the jar. What's happening? Did I... Did I screw up something? But it's, it's clearly uh, an option. But again, not, again, at least it was not in a battle that would really would really matter. And uh, we lost a scout. Okay. We are under siege. We start to destroy. Patrolling, patrolling. And we have troops starving. So, let's see where did we lose. Yeah, we lost here. That's that's fine. And we are spending more over here. And we are sitting over here. Magic. Enchantment level 4. Playing arrows. Detective cost. Fire gems required. I really don't know why any... If you are watching, please let me know. I, I, I will research it in the, in the next episode, or at least I hope in the next turn. Let me see if I have more insight what's happening. If you know, and if you have, have been watching the episode and know by heart what am I doing wrong, please let me know in the comments. I will try also, and if I find the solution, I will uh, tell you guys, but uh, I don't know. This guy is level 4 5, the, the spell is available. And I can see the video again of the combat, but he did not cast the flaming arrows. Why? He did not cast the flaming arrows. It's available here, flaming arrows. It's so strange. Now I can place this here, but this, this shouldn't uh, make any kind of difference. This is just, I think, and uh, for the to, 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 so that my mage does not spend, and it's what's saying below, in this, it does not spend any kind of, of gems in and, and scripted spells. But the scripted spells, these five, if they need gems, they will use them to cast a spell. So this guy has fire in the jar, which give him one fire gem, and he is fire mage level four. So why the hell does he not cast? Combat caster. Mm. Okay, but again, this does not make any difference in the fire. I should be missing something, but neither of the guys casting flaming arrows. It's so strange. I'll I'll need to see a little in a little bit more detail what's happening. Uh, okay, that's 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 a, a detail. It was, and it, I, I'm really glad it was just a detail because we could have been facing a bigger army and flaming arrows could make the difference. And uh, I would be re really sad if it was because of, of the flaming arrows that we lose a battle. Uh, the two battles that we fought, it was they, they were easy enough with or without flaming arrows. Uh, uh, I think even uh, the flaming arrows, don't, uh, by not being cast, it was good because we did not take friendly casualties but uh, i really need to know why the hell are not uh, the flaming arrows uh, spell being cast that's really strange this guy it's it's a clearly uh, i don't know uh, i'm sure that with the level three you can use a fire gem to power up to level four and then cast the spell which is a level four fire and the spell by itself needs another gem so but he have fire five uh, regular the fire gems and one from the fire in the jar so this guy should have cast the flaming arrows this guy is even easier because he's by himself level four so the spell is available he has a fire gem over here why the hell did he not cast the flaming uh, arrow spell i need to watch the, uh, I'll, I'll go and watch the both the both the, the video uh, details uh, in the, the of the combat and see if i see anything strange but that's that's really really strange um guys i'm going just to pause decide the move for this turn it was a, a good move for us we are being siege over here but i really don't care because i think it's easier and easy enough to to break the siege and let's keep the siege here and let's try to push out um, against um, against men uh, and bring the war to, 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 to their nation. I'll decide the moves and I'll be right back. So guys, after a little bit of researching, uh, of some, not researching like a, a research in-game, but uh, like searching uh, in the forums, 
uh, in the checking the flaming arrows what i've what i've seen in the in the in the, in the forums is uh, well make makes it makes a little, a, little, a little bit of sense and i hope that's it but that i i believe that there are situations where uh, it probably it's not a good idea what happens is uh, and what i found in the answers in the forums is uh, if the scripted flaming arrows spell uh, that you have and you want to to, to script to 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 to, to your mages to, to cast it if the battles are too one-sided and for in my two battles were it was a big army a big army from, from myself against a, a, a very small army from my from my enemies uh, what i what i've seen in the forums is the mage does not cast it because uh, probably it, it isn't worth it so that was the, the answer that I found in the forum. So sometimes they don't don't cast flaming arrows because some kind of uh, math going, going going around here. You have so much enemy, uh, so much units, and your enemy has so few units that they refuse to cast it. Uh, what's better than the next turn to see if that happens? Uh, uh, that uh, that answer it um, it fits what the problem that I had here. We had two battles, but it was clearly two battles where I had a big army against a small army. Let's hope in the next turn, or in the next two turns, and see if in the equal terms uh, battle, if um, that happens. We, have, we, are, we are going to have at least two battles here. We are going to break the siege, and this guy is going to cast flaming arrows. We, we are going to move this army over here, and we are going to cast flaming arrows, and the, the army that's sieging this castle is also set up to cast flaming arrows if they are going to get attacked. So, uh, two battles that we are going to start for sure. And if man tries to break the siege with uh, enough, uh, with a big army, uh, again, we are going to try to cast flaming arrows. So, we'll have in the next turn uh, uh, many, uh, uh, many options and many, many combats to see if uh, we get to cast flaming arrows. Because in the theory, they can cast it. They have the, the magic levels that they need and they have the fire gems that they also need to cast it so uh, clearly uh, and it could be and sometimes i'm known to do that some kind of dumb mistake from my part but i see in this case that's not my fault it's the tyrant fault so um, let's see if they decide to, to cast it in, in this in the next turns. uh it's a nice it's a nice idea to because uh, sometimes we have a lot of scripted spells with with uh, that they cost gems and we have a big army all set up and we are going to fight to five to six units and we spend uh, uh, about eight to nine gems casting spells that they were not needed in that situation i think it's very good that we have that option but sometimes perhaps it's the opposite we are facing a, an army with very few units but big units and uh, very tough units are, and, and we want to, to our mage to cast the spells that we scripted and um, they will not because in some kind of randoms or some kind of scripted things they, they decided that's not worth to cast it which could be could lead to disaster so uh, i think we should uh, in this case why not have also an option here in, uh, like enforce uh, with the check enforce um scripted spells so uh, in battle I don't I really don't care if I'm fighting one or 1000 units I want them to cast all these spells I don't care if they cost 10 gems 100 1000 gems I want I, I want to cast that spells I think it would, it would be nice to have here an option like we have this one so that we do not spend gems outside these scripted spells the other one would be I really don't care what you think I'm the master I am the, the I'm the pretender god and I want you to cast the spells that I want uh, that would be really nice because the, perhaps there are situations where these um, uh, these decisions might not be the uh, the most uh, uh, might be not the better ones. So uh, it has it, it can be it can be troublesome. Uh, well, at least I, I searched for the for the answer. I, at least it fits the, my problem. Let's hope next next turn we will see some flaming flaming arrows flying around. Uh, let me just show you the rest of the of the moves for this turn uh, we are breaking the siege over here with the incoming reinforcements and also with the tyrant that i left back uh, so that we can break the siege 
and together with this incoming army let me show you it's all the the commanders that have units are going to participate in combat and the the, the mages will keep researching so this is the army we have a strong front line lots of archers uh, i don't have any where to pl place this this um, this giant this gigant so he's going to um, uh, be a bodyguard to my to my tyrant and i think that's the regarding this break siege we have more than enough units to break it so i hope we su we succeed uh, this army is going to move over here to, to attack over here it, it will save it will serve two purposes we'll try to get this province to ourselves and it will serve as a buffer to allow our uh, sieging army to to fulfill its job and get that castle for us without being uh, each turn being arrested by armies that are coming from here so let's get this province over here and try to to give some time to these guys to, to break the siege on that castle uh, to break siege no to destroy the walls um all the moves uh, let, let me just show you in all the commotion of the wars of last turn uh, i hadn't had time to to, to weep about again uh, for uh, magic search, uh, magic site searching and uh, uh, no one found a lousy site so let me just complain about that and let's let's keep going uh, we are we are in this turn again site searching mo mo uh, doing more site searching let's hope we get some sites and i think that's it i'm moving my tyrant atlas and he, he is a, a level four by default iron mage which is nice uh, he's moving over here um i want to build a fortification here it's, it's, uh, it's an, a really important province to be left without any kind of fortification so uh, even if I should use this army also down here, I really don't know what's happening here because they killed my scout. I'm moving more scouts up, but I really don't don't want that man comes with one or two big armies and uh, I don't have any kind of defense uh, defensible position over here. So uh, even if it's a waste of uh, resources by using an army uh, to be over here just waiting, uh, I think it's worth it because I really don't, don't want to get get caught off guard by being being attacked over here. So I hope Pintium manages to defend these provinces, but I think I have more than enough troops over here. And if one thing Pelegar is good, and I, it's the first time that I'm playing it, they are very good in amassing uh, a big number of units quickly. So you know, even spare, I can spare these units over here to defend and we'll have more than enough uh, places to recruit and uh, build more armies to uh, keep pushing men down here so that's the decisions for for this turn let me just show you nation overview more fires in the jar helmet of heroes summoning allies that means summoning more ship over, over there and over here we will get our fortification ready next turn that's nice and research, nothing special. Uh, recruitment, uh, I cannot recruit because we, were, we are under siege over here. So I'm going to recruit just a, a, a sage over here to increase research and use the sages that we get to site search this province, the, the province that, that, that they are in. We, we don't have any kind of site search. So we are getting sages. We see if it's, it's a new magical path. If it's a new, we'll do the search. And that's what I have made over here. We have all the site searching done when I recruit the units. Not that there's, that make any kind of difference because we, they, they don't find any kind of site. Uh, and the recruitment on, on my capital, it's a commander and more uh, a lot soldiers. We managed to keep 95 treasury and we'll see what happens next time. So guys, let's finish up the turn. Just one scout doing nothing. Let's hope to see flaming arrows. And a conjuration. Hey! Wow! What a nice way to start. We found a magical site. Perhaps he, he stumbled upon the site. It was right on his face. It was enough to so that he could find it. Uh, let me see. We attacked um, men. First, uh, breaking the siege. You should. Yeah. Hippolytus prepares to cast flaming arrows. That's nice. 
flame girls. That's nice. So I, that that uh, that justification was good. And flaming girls against cavalry are awesome. Are really really awesome against armored units. Are the best. They are armor piercing, so it's more than enough to do some damage. Let's press it fast forward because it's more than enough, and the armies are routed. The the work, the bad part is now that probably we will get a couple of units uh, with friendly fire, but that's okay. So first battle we won, we lost. Just the, the regular stuff for archers, seven soldiers, and six warriors. We can replenish that quickly, so that's nice. We bro broke the siege, and that's the main thing. We attacked at Sylvania men again. We just pause what we have here. Uh, so, are we able to cast it, or do you think that we don't need it? Yeah, he again thinks that he needs it to find the arrows. That's nice. Now I'm much more uh, happy. I'm a happy, happy guy. Happy guy, sending girls all the way. We can amass such a big uh, quantity of um, archers that makes a huge difference. And we can even, with some kind of path, have wind guides. So that's a nice. Um, Armies of men are routed. Yes, they are. So that's an option that we have in combat. What did you lose? Just five Elot soldiers. I'm fine with that. And we men attacked us at Strongdale. Where is Strongdale? They are trying to break the siege. Oh, that it is a, a big army that they have. But again, flaming arrows. And this guy can cast it faster because, uh, well, it's the same that the other guys. Just if we had to cast uh, summon uh, fire, uh, phoenix fire, phoenix power, uh, I, we would lose one time. But uh, not, not, not as we have scripted it. So we have flaming arrows. Please unleash flaming arrows. Like that flyer. You don't like the flyers going around here. And it's so uh, it's not going too well for us. No, it is not. The flyers managed to to break our our units, and they even got our um, our um, tyrant killed. So we lost this battle over here. Twenty. And it, it was a tough, uh, a close battle, but uh, the both the flying unit, the flying units, made the, made the, the difference. So we need to break to siege that castle again. Uh, we got our um, palisades done, great patrolling info, and let me see that fabulous site that we found. We found rock side spring, one earth and one water. Well. That's something. That's something. Well, what happened here? <laughs> that's that's nice. The, the what happened? Probably an event after they break the siege. They got attacked by perhaps uh, a barbarian. <laughs> they got attacked by a barbarian. Um, by a barbarian event, and they are being sieged by independent units. That's that's funny. Uh, again, over here, nothing special. Okay, and we broke the siege over here. That that was a nice turn. The flaming arrows are working as expected. We just lost over here, which was a little bit unfortunate. But even if we haven't lost it, we would lose because with this random event, I don't think that we could withstand um, fighting uh, the the sieging the. the the army that they sent to break the siege, and then again the event. So it we were doomed uh, either either way. So let's just check the borders. We have this one, and then they did not attack. 
we are over here and this guy perhaps yeah this guy i think he, they, he fled from that from over there i can move him back and get him get reinforcements um, and we can keep pushing down down i mean down i mean south south from our from our main uh, provinces and over here anything new we have here our palisades which it makes a, a good defensive position and over here i don't see anyone at battle at least until not is not at battle but ashdod and um, ashdod and uh, nifelheim they are keeping uh, the f they are fighting still they are still fighting each other so that's that's nice and we need to to keep look to keep, keep watching that fight because let's see if we can take advantage of that fight uh, but for now, my, my friends, we are full war against men. I think uh, after the first first turn, we are in control of the situation. Pelegra can muster armies so uh, so quickly that um, I, I really I, I really think at least uh, one against one we we have the the advantage. Even if our units are not that uh, great, but we can get so many of them. So. Uh, I think that can make the difference. Uh, what we need to, to, to do is be a little bit more careful against uh, flying units because uh, we need to prevent them to, from attacking uh, our rear lines and by killing our commanders they can rob our armies. But uh, that can be easily um, prevented. Uh, guys, I hope, to, I hope that you are enjoying this let's series, let's at least let's play series. I hope to hear your feedback in the comment section. Uh, even I have asked for help in the flaming arrows question, but uh, I seem to have solved it by by itself. If you knew the answer, you can you can leave a comment in the, in the again in the, in the comments. Uh, but I think it, it's really what I have what I have said. And the game by itself sees if if we need or not to cast the the spell, and if we and the, if we don't need to cast it. We we will save the, the gems. I think that's that's the, what it's supposed to happen. Um, but again, uh, it was nice to to go and search to make sure. I hope you are enjoying the series, and I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, thank you.